Here in the dining table, for a centerpiece, we decided to put a piece that uh, is somewhat controversial in that it's about immigration, essentially. There's a fondue pot with a couple of frogs jumping out of it. This is the first clue. The frogs are Mesoamerican frogs from the Dallas Museum of Art. They're huge frogs, and they're guardians for the rain god Tlaloc. And here they're leapfrogging out of the melting pot. Well, why is that? Well, the melting pot is actually a failed metaphor for America and its immigration, where everybody's supposed to assimilate, you know, and turn into the same old queso or whatever. In this case, um, used a box of Velveeta, let's say Clara did, to carve the Statue of Liberty. It works better if you freeze it first. That stuff's not easy to work with, but it's a sculptural material, okay? But she's kind of having a meltdown here, Lady Liberty, and there's um, the eternal flame underneath her there. And all around her are the makings for Frito Pie, which was an old favorite when I was a kid. And um, on the Frito bag, there's a, uh, let's see, the Aztec God of Corn, or maize. And next to it over here on the avocado, here's the Virgin of Guadalupe in there. She's always set into an aureole, which is a shape that signifies divinity. And then on the lid of the melting pot, there's a image from medieval art. I'll show it to you. Of the plague of frogs. So we're getting back to the frogs, and by golly, here we have another plague. One of the 10 that helped get the Israelites out of Egypt. What else? Oh yeah, on the chili. Wolf brand chili is made in Corsicana, Texas. Here, this one has Montezuma on it. Kind of like his revenge. <laughs> That's a painting of Montezuma. Oh, and it gets into all sorts of other weird little things, like a red riding hood. Of course, all the lovely vegetables that go into making chili or queso. Anyway, I call it Bodegon for Frito Pie and Leapfrogging Out of the Melting Pot. Hi, this is Ginger Geyer here. I'm out in my studio showing you a big mess of paper that I have um, cut out over a couple of years. I go into these old children's books. I love these vintage ones. Right now, I'm working on a Boy Scout handbook. Oh, is it full of goodies? And I cut out um, phrases and cool pictures and stuff. Um, it's really fun when you find something like that that has a good font. Anyway, for the wall of words, we just pulled a few out that I had at home and brought them in, and people have been making poems on the wall in there. It's really kind of cool. So I'm going to pull out the next section of 10 10 words, let's see. This is just like, you know, pulling out of a bingo slot or something. Okay, well, that was too long. Ah, yeah, I'm cheating a little bit, right? Okay, here's one. Even I've never made such a mess as this, as much a mess as this. I will be a tree that you come home to. He noticed a fourth figure. Uh, let's see. I wasn't lost. You were lost, but I'm glad I found you. She met people all over the country. She learned about their problems. Change all over the country. Did you find the truth? And a day in the country. Boy, we've got a lot of countries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only two more. And headed back to the farm, white joins the party and so does brown. <laughs> okay, there's your fodder for a poem. Have fun.